Homeworld 1, the classic 1999 3D real time strategy with a tactics focus. Resource injection received. Imagine going from Command and Conquer and StarCraft and Warcraft 1 to something like this. 3D, where every ship has a position. Defender subsystem research complete. Mass. Defender available for construction. And velocity. Resource lost. Where ships can kamikaze, or not even Resource just collector complete. Not even necessarily a kamikaze, Mother but ship. deliberately ramming, commencing. because the ships have spatial dimensions and mass and can transfer their momentum in a way that is quite decently simulated. Did you see how that assault frigate got pushed by the impact? Like conservation of energy, did you see that? And then this one will kill it. But it was still getting pushed there. So these are resource collectors. These have high mass and are good for kamikaze attacks. Now we're kamikaze with fighters, are we? No. Evasive mode with fighters. So they're not as focused on getting shots on target, they are trying more Super to ship drive research duck and complete. weave. So they're screening. Chassis research complete. So you would use these to screen for bombers that are actually aggressive. So if you have evasive interceptors and aggressive bombers putting their plasma bombs on target, then the average mobility of the force is very high, but the damage output is maximised. See how cool that is? This one is aggressive. See how it's, it stays trained on the target? So this is the formation system. I'm just going over this because the purpose here is to show how this simulates the ships and the projectiles as objects. Even, even the shot. See these little mass drivers on these fighters? If they fire at other fighters... Oh, and it nudged it. And it nudged it again. See, even fighters with small mass and high velocity have momentum on impact and can nudge assault frigates. And this is fascinating too. Nudging can serve a purpose because you have spine mounted guns that have a very narrow, what would you even call it? Resource collection minute complete. of arc of Production fire. Like the, the gun. Commencing. The gun has a very narrow field that it can train on a target. See that there, how it just pushed it? I'm doing all these different experiments. This is something I did a few hours ago and I'm trying to now, now that I've recorded it, I'm trying to give some explanation. And it's fascinating how well this worked in 1999. I'm reco I recorded this for demonstration purposes and I was I was just happy that I got the game working and I could do the demo that I wanted, so I thought why not make a video showing how robust the combat and the ballistics and the physics is. Yeah, this was 1999. This was before the year 2000. We had this to this day in so many ways. It still remains the best at what it does. <laughs> Fascinating, really. It really, is fascinating. Defender complete. Fighters, corvettes, frigates, capital ships, super heavy ships, and then you have micro ships as well. You even have micro ships and cataclysm, I think. So there's all these different classes of ships, and they all have. Mass, speed, firepower, different weapon systems, different special abilities. And I thought that was weird. When you ram a ship from behind, it seems to somewhat reverse the momentum. It may be a weird... It may be deliberate. It may be down to the... What is it? The pulse engine? But look, see, see all of them hitting and... In a short time period, the momentum is added. And defenders don't really have that much momentum there. It really does seem like there is an actual 
system of momentum where speed and mass deliver impact <laughs> as momentum. Resource it's fascinating. Received. Transfer of momentum. I really didn't appreciate it as much when I was a kid because, well, I didn't even understand what momentum was. But when you can watch it now and see this simulation, and yeah, that's a resource collector just ramming straight through a static light corvette. And can you imagine if you have assault frigates or even multi gun corvettes? So you have multi gun corvettes or assault frigates which are anti fighter, and then you have interceptors which are strike craft for fighters, for taking out fighters, anti. basically just fighters. So they are small ships for taking out other ships, and they just cancel each other out because they're the same. So you could actually have a greater amount of damage dealt by just kamikaze your fighters into those anti-fighter ships at the outset of the fight. It's fascinating. And yeah, there it is again. The ship gets pulled back. I really don't understand that. Does anyone know why it does that? I always thought that was strange, and I'll be interested to know. And it takes its position back in the formation. What's it called? What's the formation? Military parade? Yeah. Commencing guided missile research. So at Commencing the moment, heavy gun research. I'm just demonstrating kamikaze and ship Commencing impacts. Heavy gun research. But now we're starting to make destroyers with mass drivers, Maximum number of destroyers reached. turrets, and there's an assault frigate. And there's a resource collector. I'm lining up for the shot. And see how ships turn in to change direction. The engine has to activate and and it has to change its direction, so it has to counteract its own momentum in that direction. Resource injection received. And it can take time. Ships accelerate and decelerate in a really robust, real way. It's so fascinating. And I always liked how assault frigates looked. Like you have those turrets on the top, on the sides. And look, it works so well there. It pushes it backwards. See that? It pushes it backwards properly, but when you ram it from behind, it, it has the opposite effect. So, that looked really good. The system works, it just... There, there's that weird quirk of ramming from behind that I don't understand. And I also liked how when you give friendly fire orders, they have their own voice lines like that. So fascinating. I always thought that was really immersive. Quite shocking. It's your call, target acquired. <laughs> 1999 and we had this. And see that? Look at the shot. See the shot? The, the mass drivers and then the plasma, they both push it with their own proportions. See how it's getting pushed the whole time? Look at that. It, it was moving slightly in that direction already and then the shot hit it and it pushed it so it actually had a decent speed in that direction, decent velocity. And look at those turrets as well. And look at those sound effects on the plasma cannons, holy shit. And then the impact sounds as well. See that? See how there's collision as well? Some of them hit, some of them miss. And look at it tumbling as well, tumbling from the shot, tumbling from the impacts. Look at it being totally sent off course, and as it tumbles and spins, it can evade projectiles. Look at this simulation, and you can change direction. So they lead their targets, but they can account for changes in direction and speed. So you can juke shots from these lower velocity especially weapons by rapid changes in direction and that's exactly what strike craft do that plasma especially is slower and that's more of an anti frigate weapon Guided missile research complete missile destroyer available for construction this is just so fascinating that this is such a good simulation and there's no limits to how this can be pushed and utilized 
Even the sounds of the turrets adjusting and training for the target. It's so amazing, my god. And now they're returning fire in evasive mode and shot is reliably missing. Look, these turrets are having a hard time keeping up with these corvettes that are in evasive mode. I think they're in evasive. It looks like they're trying to strafe to avoid shot. Heavy gun research complete. And it's Heavy it's really making available for construction. It's making the assault frigate work. Construction commencing. You hear the turrets actuating Maximum and moving. Number of missile destroyers reached. It's just such an amazing simulation. See when I was eight years old or Maximum seven years old. Oh man. Reached. I was barely eight when I played this fucking game. No wait wait, I was actually seven when I played the demo for this. Production underway. Holy shit, it blew my mind. Commencing. Assault frigates especially, Production I thought underway. were cool. Look at Maximum them. Number of Three turrets and then this plasma plasma cannon that makes this weird noise like it's burping. <laughs> Holy shit. Four, four mass drivers, two sides, one top, one bottom, and they all track their own targets and prioritize fire opportunities. And see when these assault frigates are just wearing down fighters one by one, and and they remain alive, and just barely eke out a fight against interceptors and bombers. My god, it's so glorious. Destroyer complete. Look at this dogfights in space. An actually well simulated dogs fight in space. And there's a heavy cruiser coming. So I've got I've got destroyers, I've got heavy cruisers. And I've got another No no, that's an iron cannon frigate. These are really cool as well. Alright, friendly fire, here we go. Let's see what I was thinking here. Because I was just in, in pure experimentation mode here. Resource injection received. Alright, so there's the iron cannon. It's the entire length of the ship. This ship is just a weapons platform for this ion cannon. So you have to line up the ship, the ship's facing. You have to point the ship at the target and it fires these pulses and there's a long cooldown. So there's a short burst and then literally a cooldown and then it bursts again. It's fascinating that it has a time period. Does its damage over time. And watch this, here's what I'm doing, here's what I'm doing. Knocked off course, and look, look, look! Its damage output was reduced. Did you see that? So by ramming a ship that's engaged, that has fine conditions required to be effective, not only can we deal damage to it, but we can preclude it doing damage. But that time it dealt its damage anyway. It dealt its damage. But look, it's nearly dead. So it's not very cost effective to ram ships, but you can do it. And there's the destroyer trying to take out a fighter with its iron cannon. And corvettes finished off the iron cannon. So this is a viable option in the game, kamikaze. It's fascinating that you can do this. Really, really fascinating. It's always an option. And look at that, I did not mean this to happen. This was a resource collector that had harvested some... Look at that, it's, it's ionizing the dust cloud and damaging itself, look at that. It just damaged itself. And now it's damaging itself again, is it? It's just outside of it, now it will, maybe. See how this is totally emergent, like my god. You have a dust cloud that blocks ion cannons and creates an area where everything inside it gets damaged when it's getting ionized. And ion cannon frigates can destroy themselves by accident. <laughs> Look at that shit! What a game, holy fuck. What a game, my god. So you can shield... There's so much that you can do with that. You can hide your capital ships behind dust clouds. You can use them as a shield. 
Or you can send resource collectors to resource Kamikaze and to Iron Cannon Frigates and then jostle around the dust clouds and have something like a heavy cruiser fire its mass drivers. Th th even this has mass drivers, see those resource ones on the top? So those can go through dust clouds no problem. Receiving. But when it's an energy particle weapon like an ion cannon, it gets blocked and it has a secondary effect of creating an AoE, a local AoE. And this was in 1999, my god. What a nifty fucking idea. Is that is that dust cloud still energized? It is, it's still pulsing, pulsating. It's still got lightning going on inside it. And look at this, it's getting shot here. This is a static light corvette and it's tumbling and rolling. See that? How it's getting pushed? That is just... yeah, so amazing to look at that. It's an easier target to hit. And also, if you were to attack it from the above, it would present a larger profile to the attacker attacking ship. So a static repair, no, a static light corvette, if being fired at from above or below, is an easier target. <laughs> and also, look at this, I'm shooting the back of this ship, which does more damage, and there's a little particle effect. It's like the, the engine is reacting with the ion particles. Like we're, see that? See the fuzz? that's coming off. So we're doing something like twice as much damage because we're shooting at the engine. And of course Homeworld 2 expanded on this by having an actual engine module that gets damaged and you can render a ship immobilized. Which is really cool as well. That's really cool. That's a good addition I think to Homeworld. Alright, so what am I thinking about here? What am I trying to do? Oh, I think I'm trying to do this again. I think I'm trying to show more clearly the nudging effect to have to have a, a point target ship be thrown off of its attack. Hang on, I think I am. So I've got the target train the camera trained on the destroyer and then See that? See how much longer it took there to reorient itself and go again? Alright, and now I'm going for a double double hit, and I think I managed to repair this up in time with the support frigates. So let's see if I can really I'm nudge it so it isn't trained on the target whatsoever. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can really mess up its shot. I wonder if this worked. So, momentum has been added. Look at that! It was taken out of the fight for a decent amount of time. Alright, here we go, the AI is finally attacking me. I was just sitting around messing about in my base. But there's actual enemy ships coming because I'm playing against the AI. So let's see what further experimentation I do here. Yeah, yeah, I'm immediately pulling up the resource collectors, spamming more. And I think I'm going to try and ram one of these destroyers, or maybe even an ion cannon frigate. I might do that instead. And the AI is really a pushover, like I've always got this under control, pretty much. It's really hard to... To be... To mess up so badly that the AI can beat you. Missile destroyers. Alright, what am I doing here? What am I going for? And I'm repairing. And I'm sending the heavy cruiser out. And I can't resist a chance to look at the heavy cruiser. Look at those fucking guns. Look at those guns. Look at the size of them. Three on each side. My god. Resource injection received. And they're massive and Resource those relatively low velocity, high mass projectiles that are just spat at the enemy. Just lobbed. And you can see the gun recoiling. It's amazing. Look at it, it's so chunky. Look at those giant projectiles! And this is the great thing about this. These are real projectiles with real momentum. Like they are actually mass drivers. They drive mass. And I'm going for a ram here. 
I wasn't sure if this would work. I remember doing some ramming like this before, but it was difficult to make it work because they always try and get out of the way. So I, I spend a lot of the time here trying to go for rams. And I've got the heavy cruiser coming in already. Is that the, the frigate's been pushed back by the mass driver projectiles? Look at those impacts as well. And you can hear the guns spazzing out. Look at how slow those projectiles are, my god. They still hit. And look at how the turret has to recoil back as well. And yeah, I'm really going for a ram here. I really want a ram, because I've got a heavy cruiser here. And they're about to take out my destroyer. And there we go. I've got an intersect... Pl uh, path plotted right through this missile destroyer. But it's not happening. I wish I could force path through it. I think you have to have two ships moving into each other to guarantee an impact like this. And you can hear the turrets just absolutely spazzing out there. And there goes my destroyer. And I'm trying to pull up and I almost, almost hit it. I just barely miss it. Listen to those low pitch muzzle reports, my god. It feels like it's a beefy high mass projectile. And look at the muzzle flash as well, that long muzzle flash. Holy shit, Homeworld 3 could give us so much. And look at how long it takes for those projectiles to impact with those frigates. <laughs> My god, they are deliberately that slow. Sometimes less is more. Look at this. Look at this deadly dance. And now we've got the iron cannons firing straight into the top of this missile destroyer. Doing extra damage. And I could go for a rear shot here. Look at these point blank shots. And I think I might have just rammed that iron cannon frigate. Did I just do that? Did I just manage to ram that iron cannon frigate? Rewind that and watch it again. I think I did. I just saw it being pushed way off course. And that was because the, the cruiser had a low velocity. It had a low speed while it was moving. So not much momentum was transferred. But it did bounce off like a golf ball off of a golf club. So, yeah, that was a bit dodgy there. Oh, and we just took out, we just took out a missile destroyer with, with flanking shots. All right, we're losing frigates now, so our frigate population is being culled. So I need to start spamming. I need to start spamming ships. Production underway. And you can still see those mass drivers, muzzle flashes. And you can hear the ricochets from really far away. I love it. All these details. And by the way, these these mass drivers, these six mass drivers, they do a significant proportion of the damage output of the ship. Those ion cannons are powerful, and there's like four of them in an array together. But it's really these six mass drivers just focusing their fire that do a hell of a lot of damage. They're not really for taking out fighters because they're such low velocity projectiles. And is that missile destroyer being pushed a little bit by these shots into its back? Oh my god, I just rammed that missile destroyer with like five resource collectors and took it out. And now I'm having a look, I think, at how the mass driver does against corvettes. Is that heavy corvettes? I think it is. Look at that, you can see the shot just flying past. I think one of them hit there. I think it takes a few of those to destroy one of these. But if it's a fighter, like an interceptor, then yeah, they're, they're, they're dead in one shot. And there's another heavy cruiser coming out. 
resource collector complete. And already we have our mass drivers firing out, taking different targets, tracking. Look at the turrets tracking and turning. The mothership is under fire. Resource injection. And they're missing. Look at that, they try, they fucking try to put their shots on target, but the enemy ships are moving to evade. I think we just got one with the iron cannon there. Look at these turrets putting out their damage. The way the turrets reel back when they shoot, my god, it's like a recoil control. And I think that was a direct hit. I think a heavy cruiser just scored a direct hit on that corvette there. Alright, what am I doing here? That was just admiring, admiring the show of the heavy cruisers that time. The oh yeah, this is something else I wanted to do. I wanted to have light corvettes, evasive maneuvering, an ion cannon frigate to show the importance of the simulation. So because the ion cannon frigate has to line up perfectly with its target, corvettes and fighters can just keep moving around and they have a speed that lets them easily outmaneuver the Iron the Cannon Frigate, so the Iron Cannon Frigate need not Production ever even underway. get off a shot, it's totally defenseless. One light corvette can take out an Iron Cannon Frigate under the right Mothership. circumstances, given enough time. And the Mothership is in trouble here because this missile destroyer is focusing fire on it. Mothership. Mothership. And I'm just trying to take out this Resource missile destroyer because it's doing a lot of damage. Received. I want to keep experimenting. I've the got other things I want to fire. see. Resourcer destroyed. Did I just ram, or did they take it out? Yeah, look at that ion cannon frigate and evasive, evasively maneuvering around for a shot on the mothership there. And this heavy cruiser is point blanking this missile destroyer and it's taken out, it won't be long. The mothership is under attack. And there we go. I like that moment when the ion cannon just passes straight through the target, as if to indicate the hull has been pierced and then on its way out it has an easy time. It just goes straight through the other side of the hull, just boom. The ship has been split down the middle and its fusion core goes and it just explodes in a blue pulse. Amazing. Resource injection received. Breach and starboard fusion chamber. Breach and starboard fusion chamber. Destroyer complete. Yeah, so I'm trying to build up my fleet now. And there is a scout. Is that a scout? And you can hear the engines. It's ready to go, standing by. And we're repairing the mothership. Mothership. All these repair mothership. repair beams. Oh, and look at that. Heavy cruiser face to face with. Complete. What is that? Light corvettes? Minecraft? Mine. Fucking hell, I was in Minecraft. Mine lane corvettes? Oh, man. Yeah, these are bombers. Uh, what was I thinking? Corvettes? These are bombers. The blue plasma. Plasma. Bombers. And they are aggressive bombers. They are... They're flying straight at the target slowly to give them as much time on target as possible so they can fire off as many bombs as they can. And then they go for... What is it? Holding pattern? Yeah. Holding pattern locked in. Yeah. Obviously as a 7 or an 8 year old, when you play a game like this, it's your first introduction to a lot of these dogfighting terms. And I just had... How, how did we take out all of those there? 
How did we do that? What was it that did that? I've only got one light Corvette there. That is no, no, no. I've got, I've got a Not small, a small fighter support fleet and spear formation Resource and guarding received. the heavy cruiser. So that's a fighter screen that can protect it and take the onus off of its mass drivers when it comes to defeating straight craft. The mothership is under fire. So it can it can re reserve its mass drivers for capital ships, which it which it does. So that's something you can do. You can set up a fighter screen on your heavy cruiser and then you can have the heavy cruiser target only capital ships with all of its high damage weapons. Because even though it is capable, it is equipped to deal with fighters. It's overkill. It's capable, but it is suboptimal. You put these mass drivers on these heavy cruisers so that all of the firepower they bring to bear is effective against capital ships, but they re retain the ability to effectively engage with fighters. Resource injection received. It makes sense. One assigned. I like it. I like how everything just makes sense. And yeah, look what I'm doing here. I'm sending this heavy cruiser in behind. I'm trying to go for rams, but if I can't get rams, at least I can get rear shots. Point blank rear shots. I really want to get a successful ram of a heavy cruiser against a capital ship. Number of destroyers reached. I had that one against the frigate, but I want more. The mothership is under attack. Look at all of these mass drivers firing up. That's 12 of them down there. 12 mass drivers underneath these fighters. And that is substantial. Like all they ha all they need is a small chance to hit. And all of these hits are real. Every single time a hit is scored, it's because one of these turrets got a successful firing solution and the projectile intersected with the profile of the ship and it hit it and it did damage and took it out. It transferred momentum and did damage. And I love that. It means that every single event here means something. Unless of course you get a, a defender in aggressive mode that has an ion cannon lined up on it like that and then it's toast Mothership. but it's funny how that's why it took an actual ion cannon lining up on it briefly Mothership. was what took that out there the mothership is under attack. Mothership. and there we go missile destroyer dead we have assault frigates coming in some ion cannon frigates we have frigates lining up on us now and I've got I've got heavy cruisers rolling underneath. We have fighters coming in, and it's just a spectacular panorama. Audio, visual satisfaction. Even the soundtrack just fits it perfectly. Well, this game is just a masterpiece in every way. Mothership. It's impossible to have any complaints, it just, it did everything and it did it well. This is a timeless game, and that's why they remastered it. Alright, so what I'm trying to do here is set up a wall, a capital ship wall, and just push into this frigate wall and hopefully get some collisions. That's what I'm going for. But we're doing a lot of damage with all these ion cannons and they're not gonna last. They cannot stand up to that, no way. Resource injection received. Yeah, I'm trying to push, push through. And there we go again with the bombers. Bombers focusing on a Is that a destroyer down there? Yeah, it is destroyer. Mothership's still alright. I've made a lot of support frigates. I'm spamming those repair beams. And they're rotating around the mothership. Evasive. And what's that? A missile destroyer coming in. And a destroyer. And frigates. Yep. Look at this. <laughs> they just appear at the fog of war. Maximum number of heavy cruisers. You see them you see them slowly fading in, and then it's like oh shit. 
The mothership is under attack. Oh, here we go, I'm engaging. And is this where I get it? Is this where we have a successful ram? Do we do we pull off? Resource injection received. I didn't make any multi-gun corvettes, but they are similar to this. A corvette with all these small guns all over its its chassis. Look at those turrets recoiling. Actual moving parts. Look at that steady output of fire. Did my destroyer just ram that frigate? Is that what happened there? I think generally you want to be the rammer. You do more damage when you ram. Especially I think if you hit the rear or sides. Because you have the, the spine of the ship in your favour while you're hitting them side on. So you have more structural integrity on the stress point. So you'd want to do that. You'd want to ram the sides or ram the back or ram underneath. You don't want to ram head on. You want your the front of your ship to be presented, but you want to hit them off the front. The mothership is under Ideally, you would ram the engine. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Is that it? We're in a minefield. Oh man, they're laying mines. Wow. Alright, let's see if we get it. Is this a ram? Do we successfully ram here? Oh, this looks promising. Do we get it? Do we get it? So these are capital ships with high mass. With a lot of momentum possible when they're moving. I'm really going for this ram. Look at this, I'm going for it. I'm really trying. Do we get it? Oh, please tell me we get it here, come on. Do we get it? The mothership is under fire. Acknowledge. Oh, oh, oh. I think I just rammed it. Did I ram it or did it explode and then do damage to me because I was nearby? Another mechanic. Damage within a radius. Yeah. Right, well there it is. Homeworld. Mechanics. Projectiles have ballistics, ships have mass, it's a real simulation. You have emergent events and gameplay opportunities and tactics that are conceivable. What more can you want in a game in 2021? Never mind 1999.